Why? Because it was burnt on her. <laughs> you gonna take my finger off, dog? What if I die? He's gonna go for my jugular. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like something I would say. Calm down, loosen up in the back. We got the front working, and how to get the back not working. All right, this is our Terrapin Carolina from yesterday. Anyway, it turns out that uh, at this very same spot, while trying to pull our maggot out of her back in here without anesthesia, she decided to uh, to regurge, and we only managed to get one maggot out. You can come back. Your birdie Tebow's here. Tebow. He said that he goes, yeah, he doesn't really care if we talk or ask him, but she knows, she knows why he's here. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to pat him, she's like, oh, I'm like, okay, so you're cool. I don't remember Tebow being nice to anybody, but that's okay. I didn't say that on film. <laughs> Um, so anyway, she actually had regurged uh, ordinarily. Had she not done that, I may have just gone ahead and sedated her. But I needed to make sure that she had no aspiration pneumonia, no signs of a respiratory tract infection between then and now. So far, so good. Um, there's no bubbles coming out of her nose. So that's all means it's just not in the lungs. So anyway, what's going to happen next is now that she's uh, sedate. Smile pretty for the camera. Okay. But she's still a little tight back here. Okay. All right. So here is our hole and area for the maggots here. That's what normal back of the, the leg would look like. Give me the foot. Say what? He just finished eating a whole shrimp. He just finished eating one of your shrimp. Yeah, for a bird that size, yeah. If it were a smaller bird, I would probably go for something to smaller bird. So nothing there. That was it. I just wanted to see around your leg. Okay, nothing there. One of the more common places that we actually do see quite a bit through these maggots is right up here around the neck. Somehow they get in the skin folds. Like that one there. And it actually can cause some, some problems. But this girl is doing great. Just the one spot. Okay, now let's get him out. A bigger one. Well, we may only get one maggot out of this turtle. But at least we know that we got them all.
And that wound is pretty clean too. All right. How many was there? That's just the one. That of yesterday. I wish she hadn't have uh, vomited. We could have saved her the hang the hangover. <laughs> <laughs> no, stay up there while I pull on your back legs. There you go. Just relax. Well, the last time somebody said they got pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to ask her how that works. <laughs> All right, so clean these up, get those out of here. Did you ask her how much money she had first? No, I did not. You didn't? <laughs> that is no fun at all. So what's wrong with this kid? All right, we got all of them yesterday. Sadly, I sedated this girl and gave her a hangover for nothing. Well, not for nothing. Now we know for sure. You're a turtle, know that you can come to Happy Tales and be tickled all day long. <laughs> what are the ones that close their shell real tight and you can't even see them? That's this one. It is? Yeah. Is she a box turtle? Mm hmm. Terrapine Carolina, Gulf Coast box turtle. Hmm. They are unique among species, and the fact that they have that hinge and they can close the bottom and the front. Um, not all turtles can do that. There's, not, there's only like a, a few handfuls, and this is one of this continent's uh, most famous ones. Because when I first moved down here, we had one in the backyard. I'm like, oh my gosh, the whole shell shot. <laughs> yeah, that was the coolest thing. Doc, what do you use to cook wings? Just like a uh, good large pair of scissors. Just regular scissors? Yeah. Is this one? This is okay? We may want to use now? the other one because it's quieter. Okay. And she's not happy when she's here. This one? Yeah. 